Hello friends, it is technically the first day of Vlogmas, but you know, I haven't edited basically anything from November, so a lot of today is going to be stuff from last month, uh, Nano kind of did things that, mmm, ow, mmm, put on my glasses, so, I, ooh, no, 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 no. Those are very dirty. So, Nano kind of did things that meant I didn't do much except write, which is technically what Nano's supposed to do, but when you're an artist, before you're a writer, kind of a thing. And when you're trying to, to keep a, a YouTube channel somewhat haphazardly, it really messes you up. So, and then toss in that we now have a new addition to our house which I think I have a video of, but yes, um, but yes, I say that a lot. So yeah, a lot of today is going to be from last month, but I, I'm actually leaving the house today, so, so there, there, there could be shenanigans from that, of course, that might be in tomorrow's vlog, because, you know, editing the thing and of all the thing already, and there, there's like, I don't know, like half hour, 45 minutes of footage that is just, it's all awful footage too. I should just scrap it and be done with it. I will try and cut it down to something that's, you know, a little bit more than me just saying, I need to go right because I'm behind because that was my mantra all through NaNoWriMo. Ironically, I actually won, so yeah, and that right there is my uh, ML write-in sign for when I was doing IRL write-ins, which I only got to like three. I mean, I had scheduled like four a week. I don't know who got to what to where, except for the ones I was at. So yeah, that was my sign. Zombie bunny right there is our mascot. Zombie bunny. Zombie. So yeah. Evidently, Zombie Bunny was a hit with some people, which I was not expecting, so good on me. <sighs> Other weird, like, updatey things, I went and bought a ton of tea that is <sighs> a fuck ton of tea that should be here in a week or two, because I like tea, I like coffee too, but... I, I, they just sounded, they were like little, what are those things called? Like holiday tester packs of weird flavors and I have a tendency to be very like, word, word is not a thing that happens right now. Very predictable, boring, repetitive about the kind of trip tea I drink. It's like, I like black tea, and I like chai, and I like Moroccan mint, which is basically black tea with mint. I like mint tea. So this is to try and get me to try other types of tea and be excited. And for the gnome to try other types of tea, because gnome basically drinks, like, standard black tea that we turn into iced tea. Not that you need to know any of this. And only drinks like Moroccan mint or mint when they are f not feeling well and they make them. So we're, we're trying to do more tea things because we're both incredibly anxious, socially awkward, depressed people. And we, we, we need to do something that's more self-care because neither one of us is good at it. <clears throat> Other exciting things. Um, the desk got put in, which I think I mentioned in the the extensive amount of videoing that I haven't edited, and it's like I usually don't buy anything during or this thing is called um, during like Black Friday and stuff because it's not a thing that I want to do. But an artist I really like was having a sale of his sketchbooks. 
so I may have gotten them. They are beautiful, and his work is beautiful, and I met him very, very briefly once at a con and did not know he was one of the other artists, and I, I don't think he liked my stuff, which is fine because, you know, <sighs> my stuff is definitely not typical. I guess. I don't know, that always sounds like I'm being really narcissistic. It's a very peculiar aesthetic, and it, it's somewhere between, like, chibi and not chibi, and... <sighs> I don't know. I worked really hard to create the style, to, to find that medium that didn't actually, you know, go into chibi, but still had a lot of its aesthetic. Um... For example, this is a this is a piece I'm working on. Yeah, I can get it lined up with the camera. This is a piece I'm working on right now. Very, very early stages of the, the watercoloring of it. But yeah, it's weird aesthetic. Things going on outside. Ah, leaf collection. So, uh, since it seems like the leaf collection people are going to come around and it's going to be loud, I'm going to stop here for now and do things like take a shower and edit do all the freaking editing <laughs> okay I don't wanna editing is the worst okay into the breach courage okay so we are back at the art garage today it is November 4th I keep forgetting to say what day it is um and I am here at 3 o'clock today I'm actually early so we're going to have some breakfast and some tea because I like chai, and chai is my friend. And yeah, maybe today will be exciting. It probably will not. It is often not exciting here, which is good. You, you don't want jobs to be exciting. So I have officially ordered my new printer and scanner and got some things for them so that they can do music and things more efficiently and effectively now and the microphone we got we can use for podcasting and things so maybe we'll do a podcast I don't know I don't know what we would talk about we're not very exciting people honestly one of the worst things about gallery sitting at the art garage in the winter well not even the winter because it's just a late fall at this point is that it's so freaking cold See that? That has no insulation between it and me. I am going to die. Okay, so I... Blah, 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 blah. Um, it's like eight. We've been home for a while. We, we, we have had mass quantities of Chinese food because this is an adult life decision you make sometimes. And... That noise in the background is Gnome eating all of the leftover Halloween candy, which is kind of cool. Um, so I need to, theme of the month, go work on my Nano because I'm like 2,000 words behind, something like that. And I'm an ML. I have to be, um, what's that word? <laughs> competent, a role model, do the thing, I don't know, I, 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 d pressure, requirements, it's a thing that exists, and, yeah, I'm gonna go do that, it'll be very exciting, the, uh, the post people are gonna hate me this week, because they have the most massive shipment of things coming from Amazon, because I'm still re-outfitting all my tech, so, I have a beautiful, expensive printer coming, and a beautiful scanner, and GNOME has some audio equipment coming, and then there's some miscellaneous um, art bits and bobs, because you might as well just do it when you're, you're, you got shipping going like that. So, yeah. Uh, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna write, I'm gonna conquer that word count or something and close out the vlog. Bye. So I've cleaned off the desk 
which means that the rest of my life is in an utter disarray. Not that my life wasn't in an utter disarray to begin with, but you know, that's a different issue. But yes, here we are in preparation for the printer, which will be here Tuesday. Yeah, this is going to be good. Okay, so, um, I have... I didn't vlog yesterday. Um, basically, I had a... Basically, I had a kind of, basically I had a kind of not ready to deal with the world day yesterday, so I watched Stranger Things and drew um, on my iPad and wrote and didn't talk to the camera, which, you know, that's good. I still have footage to, to, to uh, edit, so yeah. Um, but tonight I'm going to a write-in at the Brown County Library. So I can be all municipal liaison E. I've already had to be, you know, moderator today on our Discord channel, which was not my favorite thing to be. Um, because, yeah, somebody took not safe for work to mean something basically, you know, not good. They didn't post anything, but they jumped to the assumption that a not safe for work channel meant that it was okay for um other people to to post things like that and it's like no, no 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 this is this is not what this is for this is for things like because it's a, a not safe for work recommendation thing it's like okay <laughs> Hannibal Hannibal is extremely not safe for work I mean seriously let's just I, even though it's beautiful, it's so not safe for work. Or American Gods. You know, th those sorts of things. Things that are, are, are lurid and disturbing and gross, but not in a moral, an ethical, or legal way. You know? So, yeah. The, 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 this was a, a thing I had to deal with today. So, I'm super happy about it, let me tell you. And now I need to, you know, get my stuff together so I can go... So I can go be a municipal liaison and hopefully not bring shame to my country and shame to my cow. So, yeah. Mm. Okay, so um, it, I mentioned that I was retacking my uh, studio and business. And the printer and the scanner and a bunch of the other stuff came yesterday. And I knew I needed a bigger desk. I didn't realize I was going to need it basically immediately, because, oh my god, that thing is huge. Mind you, <laughs> I have a, a, that's my secondary desk, but still, what in the actual hell, folks? That thing is ridiculously huge. And a kitty. Mr. Morph the Magnificent. Hello. And he's gone. Yes, but holy jeebus. So it's been a couple days since I've talked to the camera. Uh, the week has been strange. Mostly I have been dealing with all of the brand new tech and dealing with where to put the new tech, which led to some rearranging of the living room where my non-studio workspace is. <sighs> Which my non-studio workspace is basically where I do illustration and where I'm going to be doing like admin stuff like making prints and scanning things and ordering things and <sighs> yeah it's been an entire rearranging of the entire environment of the house and it's not done yet because honestly I really need to get a new desk because this is not sufficient but I'm just I'm so exhausted from getting stuff and having to rearrange stuff that it, it's gonna have to wait it's just not happening right now and it's still the cat is awake and it's still nano, so I'm desperately trying to make my word counts, which is being really, really difficult. And I feel a lot of pressure to do it this time, which there's always pressure to do the thing, but this is 
more pressure to do the thing because I'm the municipal liaison this time and there's like this expectation that you're going to do the thing and the cat is still chatting at me. He wants me to know that he is going to get a snack. He likes to announce where he's going. So yeah, that, that that's what's been going on and it's led to me not and it's led to me not um having edited the previous vlog footage that I had. It also did not help that since I got a new laptop, I had to order one of these things because because Max, that's what it comes down to, because Max. Um, so, yeah. Haven't even used it yet. That's how busy I've been. So, we're back to the vlogging. Welcome back. I, I, it's good to see you. It is uh, November 15th, I think. Yes, that sounds right. The cat is awake. The cat is complaining. So, you know, we're on schedule. My copy of the Chronicles of Exandra is coming today, which, yay. Um, so I, 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 I might down the line do a thing where I show you some of the things, but since they haven't all been, the first round of them haven't all been delivered, I don't want to do that and spoil it for other people because, you know, Mm, exciting. I, however, have always been a spoiler whore and always want to know where the emotional trauma is coming from before I walk into a thing. <sighs> Makes bracing for impact easier. But I haven't talked to y'all in a bit because, um, because my life is continuing to be chaotic at a pace. The, the, the new tech, which I... There's a lot of footage going to go on this thing because there's several days that I haven't turned into a vlog and yeah, but some of it uh, has, you know, exclamations about the technology and the cat is yelling, um, exclamations about the technology in them, but basically everything is stressing me out, including the cat. And I haven't been getting a lot of art stuff done, which is frustrating because the entire reason why I got all this tech is so that I could do art stuff. But there's tech, there's transferring files and there's setting up printers and scanners and things, which I still haven't set up there. They exist in the space, but they do, they have not been set up yet. Uh, I'm also, things I have to do, order a new desk, things that I don't want to do and they're making me increasingly anxious is ordering a desk. So that's coming. And the cat's still yelling. And I still have like, you know, a show to plan for and I have a holiday art show this weekend that I'm not really prepared for. And yeah. But there is happiness in my life because I, I, I did a red bubble order of some stuff because you know I, I ne never have money to like order my own stuff um, even during sales so I actually had money this time so I did the thing and one of the things I got was this which is a ginormous studio pouch like this is how ginormous it is this is what's in this pouch right now <clears throat> that. That is what was in this pouch. It's huge. I might have to go murder the cat while we're talking. But I also got stickers. Which I'm excited about. I, I love vinyl stickers. As I try not to drop shit. It says self-care is a radical act. Or that cute skull. I love that skull. Um, my, my little fawn friend. Who I love. Reordered, reordered garnet stickers. Because I was almost out. Um, 
my, my little friend Armitage Bingley Bottom, who I actually got on a pouch also, but it's a small pouch, and it's my currently my wallet, so it's not sitting near me. Um, yeah, I have a sweatshirt coming, and I got a couple mugs, and I got a laptop case for my, my brand new laptop, because yeah, that's a thing that I need, and it, honestly, it is, it, it was easier to, it was easier to order one than to go find one, especially just repping my own stuff, it's like, I like, well, I don't know if I like, but there are things about my art that I enjoy, so damn it, somebody should buy it, if it's me, it's me, um, but I also want to try out the, um, the Red Bubble, like, planner. Not planners, they're blank books. So, I have this one, which is, I like the design on this one. I like that we have this kind of, that I kind of did this tableau. Um, this is Reikik Shalmore and, uh, Leuven Rick Shalmore from, um, Vast RPG. And it's, I haven't got to writing it yet, but it's got this kind of neat, not dot grid, it's, but it's kind of gridded paper in it. And I got such a loud sound. And I got this one, which is my, my resist unicorn, which was on the stickers and it's just a blank book. But yeah, I'm, I'm, I wanted to see what the quality was, because I've never met one in person, so, yeah, I think they're cool. I guess we'll find out when I start, like, using them. The other things that I've been doing, besides not downloading the, uh, drivers to do the thing for my new tech, um... Because I haven't been doing a lot, a lot of art. Because I have no space and I have no brain space. Because of no, no space and no brain space because of everything that's going on and the fact that it's nano. But beginning of a piece. I don't, I don't generally art journal. It's not really something I've ever been interested in, but. I'm having one of those things that it's the, the for me it's very doodly that that is not pejorative or denigrating in any way shape or form it's just how I interact with it um so it, it's I'm basically doing it as a as a way to like maybe knock my brain a little loose which it is helping because I, I have some ideas for the show I'm doing in February that I have nothing made for. Hmm. And this one. Neither one of them is done remotely. Uh, they're kind of thought process wise they're kind of harking back to my Chimera series but in a way that's keeping them flat and mostly unaltered. So, yeah. Alright. So, yeah, I need to go do things. I need to actually edit video. I always need to edit video. I think this is part of the reason why I stopped doing vlogs. <laughs> stopped doing videos for a while was because I just couldn't handle the editing. But I have a computer that can do the editing now. So I don't know what my problem is. Except habit and stress and anxiety. So, eh, okay. Alright, so. I will potentially see you all later. So, I got a new desk yesterday that Gnome was kind enough to put together for me because... Mm, and I have the Art Garage um, Holiday Show... And I have the Art Garage Holiday Show today, tonight and tomorrow all day. So, I'll be taking you with me. I still have yet to edit the last footage. Last several times of footage. So... Yeah, hmm. But it'll be fine. It's fine. It's gonna be fine.
So, hello. I, I'm still working on getting things edited because I'm good at this. I'm just really busy. I had like a holiday, two day holiday show, which, oof, and Nano, Nano is a thing. Nano continues to eat my soul every year. And yeah, just things, all the things. As well, as well as the trying to make my workspace, my non-studio workspace, into something I can actually, you know, work in. I don't know what that would mean. However, Gnome, in their infinite wisdom, thinks I need to get out of the house, which they're probably not wrong. But that means that to go work someplace not home, I have to pack up my entire life. Which is frustrating. Yeah, this is a really happy channel. I'm sorry that it's been being, like, doom and gloom the entire duration that I've been doing the thing this time. I don't mean it to be. <clears throat> so, what I'm going to do, because I have myself mostly together, is go to our local coffee house thing, thing, uh, glass, which is, uh, G-L-A-S. It's evidently the Irish word for green. They're kind of a regional chain up here. There's like three or four in the state of Wisconsin. They're nice. They're, 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 they're utility. The, the, the chai, chai is, you know, just, coffee makes me sad. The noms are okay. So, yeah. And the cat is awake. He is currently emerging from sleeping in a pile of clothes. Because this is what cats do. Hey. Go get your snack. So, yes. I'm going to try and not be yelled at by the cat. Uh, try and like... <sighs> that thing, what is this called? Uh, record a little bit while I'm working at glass and, you know, maybe y'all can see it a little bit. So, yeah. See you later. So everyone I would like you to meet are newest addition to the household, Ariel Stella. Gnome's folks found her, somebody had dropped her off at their farm, and they couldn't keep her because allergies, so they asked us to take her, and she is just a delight. She's all tiny and cute and vicious, and, and has absolutely no concern for Morph and his grumpiness. It's kind of amazing. So it's November. 21st, 22nd thing, it's Wednesday. That's helpful, potentially, right? Um, it's been a minute since I've vlogged. Nano has eaten my head, and MLing has eaten my head because, you know, some people are just more difficult than others. That's the nicest way to put it, right? And then in all of this, we have a new addition to our family, Ariel Stella, which is not, not a hardship by any stretch of the imagination. She's so cute right now. She's like napping in the thing next to me. Um, but it does mean adjusting our, God, how old is Morph? 15 year old? cat, 14, 15 year old cat, to a baby, and raising a baby is something we haven't done for 15 years, um, so it's a lot of remembering and a lot of Morph being supremely unhappy, and that's okay because he's actually taking it better than we thought he would, so, you know, there's that, but, you know, she's tiny, and she doesn't really know how to cat very well yet, and... She had a very rough couple of days because of being dropped off and gnomes folks they have a farm out in the country and they have farm cats um 
but they couldn't keep Ariel because they don't have allergies, but Gnome's stepsister does, and her kids have really bad cat allergies, so the, 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 the folks couldn't keep her. And she's very clearly <laughs> not an outdoor cat, and she doesn't have the winter coat she would need to serve, even potentially survive the winter out at the farm, assuming that the the half feral cat colony would accept her. Which, from some of the the dings and cuts, I'm guessing they didn't really, because they can be a little territorial. So yes, we have a tiny friend who has a tiny squeak and who is vicious and going she's not vicious she's just a tiny baby and doesn't know how to soft paw or you know not bite hard yet um but she might be a tiny super villain she might need a cape morph certainly thinks that she's a super villain so so yes um I, I, you know, I'm not even sure if I'm behind on my word count at this point. I updated it yesterday with, like, the 20 words I got written. And, yeah. Be, well, because yesterday was the first day that she, that Ariel was here. <clears throat> so, she still was sleeping really hard and only getting up to eat because rough day is rough. And I think she might have been outside a little bit longer than the folks thought she was. And so, what we did instead was watch the season three of The Librarians and the first couple episodes of The Runaways. So, Baby Murder Machine is becoming pop culture savvy in the first, you know, 72 hours that she lives with us because I am a giant nerd. But it's, it's fun to watch her watch things on my phone or my laptop because she's watching. I, I have a friend who's a choreographer. I have literally known him since he was seven. I, I have I have been friends with his mom for 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 just ever and ever and ever. And, and it's like I remember his, his his little sister when she was four. And the 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 third the third little bit I, I remember when she was born because we were in graduate cl level classes together. Uh, when she she had the third kid, and so that it's wild that he is all grown up with a partner and is a professional choreographer, and it's just really amazing. Because I remember when he first started taking ballet lessons, and <sighs> nothing like your friends getting your friends' kids growing up to make you feel old, but. There was a video of one of his students on Instagram that I was watching, and, and Ariel was watching too, who decided to get up really close and be really interested in what she was doing. It was really cool. I haven't ra ra raised a baby murder machine when technology was so prevalent, so this will be a new adventure. Alright, I have to go do things like write and feed myself and... and worship at the altar of Ariel some more because that's the thing that's going to happen and go poke the adult murder machine and make sure he, he knows that he is loved whether or not he believes me at this point. So it's kind of late on the 23rd. Um, not late. It's like 5 till 7. But, you know, it's pitch black outside because mm, and hence the weird lighting because I'm sitting in the lights on my desk. And... I don't know, did I tell you that we got a new bebe? I think I did. Not a new bebe. A new addition to our household. Whose name is Ariel Stella. And she's darling and small and currently playing with trackball, so that's great. If you hear sound, that's what it is. If you hear growling, that is Mr. Morph being super grumpy. Though he, he, he's coming around. She's been here since Monday night, Tuesday night. Monday night? Monday night. And, yeah. He's coming around. He's doing better than I expected him to do, which is, you know, good. So, thought I would, you know, catch up, ca check in. Thought I would check in, because I have not been talking to things. I still haven't edited things. I'm generally being very lackadaisical about everything I do. But yeah, um, 
We had a family thing today and Gnome's family, not my family. There isn't a whole lot of my family. And it was... <laughs> that is any more stretching. It wasn't bad. It wasn't great. It wasn't bad. I drank three glasses of wine within 45 minutes, if that tells you anything about my level of anxiety and how much fun I have. So, yeah. Alright. I have things to do, things to do, all the things, all the time. And I'm still working on straightening out my desk area, which is getting better. As much as it doesn't feel like it's getting better, it is getting better, and I need to accept the fact that it is getting better. Okay, so, um, that sound behind me is, a uh, gnome cutting veg for dinner, because that's a thing that we have to eat. Probably, yeah. <laughs> Adulting, we're doing it right. We feed ourselves on occasion. So I still have writing to do today, and I have arting to do, and I know I haven't been sharing a lot of that stuff either here or on social media. But that's going to change, but at the moment, because of everything being chaotic, it's a little hard for me to do. So that will be coming. And I'm going to go ahead and close out the blog. I'm going to go ahead and close out the vlog here and do things and be yelled at by the cat because it's becoming time for the cat to yell at me. These are things. These are things that we have to do. Alright. I will see you in the next video. Courage. A little tiny bit of our kitten who is currently very angry at me because she went to the vet yesterday. This is Ariel.